people dressed like you always try to steal. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's not our policy. It is with bums. What kind of selfish monster do you have to be to steal other people's food? You look like a plumber over there. <laughs> do you think he was a plumber? He was certainly dumb enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, stop! What do you got in your pocket there? Oh, it's just some mess in there. I should never let you in the store. People dressed like you always try to steal. You should be ashamed of yourself! I wasn't stealing anything! No, I, I promise you I didn't. I, I got off the shelf and I paid for it. That's all it was. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. I promise you, I got it from the back. Somebody rung me up in the back, one of the clerks. Lies! You know, there's not even anyone working back there. Look, I promise you, I paid for this medication, okay? I can get the clerk, she can explain any, everything. Sir, you have to understand, my daughter is really sick. She really needs this medicine. No excuses. I don't believe you. Call the cops. Yeah, you stay right there. Yes. Sir, you're still here. Is everything okay? I thought you had to head out really quickly. No, he stays right here. I saw him in the back trying to steal this medicine. And what are you still doing here? You were supposed to be leaving an hour ago. I had paperwork to finish, so I was in the back. He needs this medicine. He needs to go quickly. His daughter's really sick. Why are you keeping him here? I don't understand. He needs to leave. I'm really sorry, sir. Thank you. Ugh, I don't even know why they bother. What do you mean? Um, I mean, there's no way that he can afford anything in here. Did he just come in off the street? I mean, you don't know that. Uh, look at what he's wearing. His scarf looks like somebody sewed dirty rags together. I have a scarf like that. It's not surprising. Uh, um, excuse me. You're excused. I'm sorry? I can help you out, sir. I'm looking for something for my daughter. She just got engaged, so I'm trying to find him something special for our wedding present. Okay. <sighs> Can you help me? Right away. <laughs> oh, now she looks like she has money. Hi, can I help you find anything today? Uh, nothing in particular, just something to wow me. Oh, yeah. I think your daughter would love this scarf. <laughs> uh, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You know that we don't let the customers handle the merchandise. That's not our policy. It is with bums. Let me see that one. Yes, of course. Hey, uh, you just said... Oh, it's exquisite. I know, it really is a piece. I think I'll take the scarf. We don't have payment plans. Uh, I'll pay for it all right now. I don't know what your game is, but it's not going to work. I don't know what you mean. Look, you just made me lose my customer. Wait, where's the scarf you're just showing her? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she just left with it! Too bad. I just make commission for the entire month. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe this! Really? You good? Someone stole my lunch. Wait, what? Yeah, and it's not the first time either. It happened last week. You know, I actually can believe that. You know Janelle in accounting? She had a big old thing of donuts thrown out of the fridge. Uh, and someone took my pad thai out of the fridge yesterday. 
Wait a second. I saw the intern eating pad thai yesterday. Do you think it was her? You can't trust anybody these days. What kind of selfish monster do you have to be to steal other people's food? Honestly, I don't know. But you better start locking your food away like I'm about to. It's crazy. Oh no. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Your lunch stealing days are over. Hey, Dad. Hey, Princess. Sorry to bother you at work. Oh, it's okay. Is everything fine? Um, no, actually. The doctor wants to put me on new meds. Well, that's great. No, it's not, actually. I, I checked, and they're twice as expensive as the old ones. Oh, well, we'll find the money. Yeah, but it's not fair. You're supposed to be enjoying your internship, and instead you're having to give your entire paycheck to me. How can you even afford food? What are you doing for lunch? How are you paying for it? Uh, I found another way for my lunch. Okay, I guess that's okay. Um, bye, Princess. Okay, bye, Dad. I'll talk to you later, Dad. Hey. Hey. So, did you ever catch that lunch-stealing monster from yesterday? Yeah, um, no. I waited the whole time and no one came. Well, somebody needs to catch this person. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah, but I think that the lunch thief is gonna change their ways. Okay, um, that seems oddly specific. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Sometimes we do the wrong thing because we feel like there's no other choice. Well, now you don't have to. Hope you like roast beef. Tomorrow, it's going to be sloppy joes, so make sure you have plenty of napkins. Signed, a friend. Oh my god, no way. No, really. And everyone brought Prosecco, but Maria came with boxed wine and They should have never even let her in the country club. The country club? <laughs> they should have never even let her in the country. <laughs> Hello, plumber here. Um, who is that? Oh, no, you need to come back later. Sorry, this is the only time I have available today. I'm booked for the rest of the week. But I need you to finish my sink. <sighs> well, if you want it done before Monday, I'm gonna have to do it now. <sighs> Melanie, do you mind if he just stays here and works? I can get us more. Mm, what? <sighs> just drink more. Yeah, uh, so should I? Yes, yes, just finish fast. Do the best I can. <sighs> so. I can like smell him from here. It's like blue collar. <laughs> <laughs> um. So tell me what happened next. What happened next? So Maria also brought her husband. He was wearing like the grossest, cheapest clothes. He looked like a plumber over there. <laughs> Do you think he was a plumber? He was certainly dumb enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me? Can you please take your dirty bag off my kitchen counter? Yeah, sorry. I just need it there for a second. Don't worry, it's clean though. Um, I think you and I have different definitions of what clean is. <laughs> <laughs> how can you blame him? Like, how do you know what clean is when you live inside a cardboard box? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Oh my god, are you done talking to this bum? I have more to dish. This bum just saved my life! 
big deal. It is a big deal. Where were you when I needed you? Okay, well, this is designer. What if you'd spit up on me or something? If you spit up on him, no one would notice. Why are you talking about him like this? Hey, <laughs> it's okay. I'm almost done here. Good. I don't want to spend any more time with gross people. I could not agree with you more. Thank you. Does why I want you to leave my house. What? You know what makes someone gross? Judging people by the way they look. You may be in designer clothing, but when I needed you, you jumped away from me. So unless you're going to be nicer to him, you can leave my house. Fine. But you know what? They're going to hear about this at the country club. Oh. Hey, thanks for sticking up for me back there. Oh, it's the least I could do. Thank you. Well, I'm going to wrap things up, get going, but uh, hey, promise me one thing, okay? Take smaller bites next time. I'll keep that in mind.